welcome to Wheels Up. I'm your host, Sierra. Today, we will explore tiny animals around the world. Brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. After our adventure, please join us as we do a very special craft with a very special person. And last, but certainly not least, we will wrap things up with a really fun game of trivia. Are you ready? Let's go on our adventure. Buckle your seatbelts. Here to kick us off is a very special representative from our friends at American Airlines. Welcome passengers. I'm American Airlines gate agent Kenny. Welcome on board our very special flight today with service from the Sunrise Association and American Airlines to several fantastic destinations. Today we'll be learning about the tiniest animals that live all over the world. Our first destination is the City of Columns, also known as Havana Cubana. So buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. This episode of Wheels Up is going to be a cute one. Today, I will be taking you on a magical trip to meet tiny animals around the world. Let's hop on board our American Airlines flight to our first stop, Havana, Cuba. Cuba is a beautiful island country, home to some of the most unique bird species in the world, including the amazing bee hummingbird. Bee hummingbirds are one of 28 bird species that are considered endemic to Cuba. Endemic species are plants and animals that exist only in one geographic region. This means that the bee hummingbird population can only be found in Cuba. Along with the blue-headed quail dove, Zapata sparrow, Cuban trogon, and Cuban emerald. While you may find the bee hummingbird all over the island, it's commonly found in eastern Cuba and in Cuba's UNESCO Biosphere Wetland Reserve, the Zapata Swamp. The Zapata Swamp is the perfect home for bee hummingbirds because these shy creatures love hanging out in the swamp's thick brushes and shrubs in isolated, steep-sided hills called magotes. The bee hummingbird is the smallest hummingbird in the world. Unlike other hummingbird species that appear quite thin in appearance, bee hummingbirds are round, plump, and weigh in at less than two grams. That is half the weight of any other backyard hummingbird. So small! Time for fun fact number one. At just six centimeters long, the bee hummingbird is actually so tiny that it's often mistaken for an insect, the hummingbird moth. The hummingbird moth resembles a hummingbird in appearance and behavior, so it's not surprising that it gets mixed up with the bee hummingbird. Our next stop on our journey is the Karindi Forest in western Madagascar, Africa to meet the Madame Bertha's mouse lemur, arguably the world's cutest primate. The Karindi Forest is famous for two things, the fossa, Madagascar's top predator, and lemurs, a unique group of primates with small, pointed snouts, large eyes, and long tails. The Madame Bertha's mouse lemurs are found only in the Karindi forest. Time to ring the fun fact bell. The average combined head and body length of the Madame Bertha's mouse lemur is just 4.6 inches for males and five inches for females. That's around the size of a cell phone. Madame Berthe's mouse lemurs are nocturnal, which means they are active at night and sleep for most of the day. If you want to see one of these cuties, come prepared with night vision goggles. Now it's time to make our way to the Philippines to meet the Philippine tarsier. Tarsiers, like the Madame Berthe's mouse lemur, are nocturnal primates and are about the size of a tennis ball. Tarsiers live in the Southeast Asian islands of the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. The Philippine Tarsiers are special. They are found mainly on the island of Bohol in the southern Philippines. Bohol is known for its chocolate hills, which are made up of 1,260 hills covered in green grass that turns brown during the dry season, making them look like they are made of chocolate. Yum! 
the Tarsiers in Bohol are the world's second smallest primate, measuring no more than six inches in height and weighing around 100 grams, which is less than a pound. Tarsiers are shy creatures with big eyes and pointed ears. Also, like the Madame Birthday's mouse lemurs, Philippine tarsiers fit perfectly in your hand. So cute! Fun fact time! Tarsiers have the largest eyes relative to their body size of any mammal. Their eyes are so large that they can't rotate them. Instead, tarsiers can twist their necks a full 180 degrees in either direction, just like owls. <laughs> Our last destination is the Andes Mountains, where we will meet the world's smallest and cutest deer, the Pudu. The Andes is a mountain range that runs through the South American countries of Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. It is known for its many volcanoes, especially Ojos de Salado, which is the world's highest volcano. Pudus are the smallest species of deer in the world. Unlike other deer, Pudus are short, have stout legs, black eyes, and reddish-brown bodies. There are two species of Pudu deer, the northern Pudu in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, and the southern Pudu in Chile and Argentina. The only difference between the two is their size. Northern Pudus are a bit smaller than southern Pudus, but they are equally as cute. Last fun fact of the day, Pudus can go long periods without drinking water due to the high water content of the succulent plants in their diets. You could say the Pudus are the camels of the Andes Mountains. Pudu deer are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Because of their short legs, Pudus must feed close to the ground. If you're lucky enough to see a Pudu, they'll likely be feasting on leaves, herbs, tree bark, and other fruits and plants that have fallen to the ground. What a fun trip we had around the world today! Now it's time for us to board our American Airlines flight back to wherever we call home. Until next time! Wow, that was so much fun and amazing! Time to get back on board our flight. Our next stop is crafting. Let's go! My name is Caroline and I'm so excited to do arts and crafts with you today. Today's video was about all different tiny animals. So today we are going to make a mouse craft and a hummingbird craft. I hope you have fun! Tiny animals around the world. Project 1. Mouse craft. Construction paper. One yellow piece. One pink piece. One black piece. Scissors. Markers. Crayons or colored pencils. And glue. Project two, hummingbird craft. Construction paper, one blue piece, one pink piece, one yellow piece, and one green piece. Scissors, markers, crayons, or colored pencils, and glue. So the first craft you are going to make is a mouse. So I have some yellow paper for the head, some pink paper for its ears, and some black for the nose and the whiskers. And I'm making my mouse yellow because mice really like to eat cheese and cheese is yellow. So the first step is I'm going to cut out the mouse's face. So I'm going to cut a triangle shape, just like this. You don't have to make your mouse yellow, but that's what color I'm making mine. You can also make yours gray, like a real mouse, or white or black. Okay. So now I have my triangle shape, and next I'm going to make the ears. So I'm going to make two ears, so I'm going to fold my paper in half and cut out a big circle, and make sure you cut on the side of the paper that is not folded. I'm going to make a pretty big circle because mice have really big ears. just like this. So now I have my two circles and I'm going to glue them onto my yellow paper. And I'm going to move this out of the way and now I'm going to glue on the ears. And I'm gluing them onto 
the sides of the triangle. Just like this. And you can make them kind of coming off of it because they need to be able to hear everything around them. Just like this. And next, I'm going to make the whiskers and the nose. So for the nose, I'm just going to cut out a little circle out of my black paper. Just like this. And I'm going to glue it onto the end of the triangle. Just like this. And then next, I'm going to make the whiskers. And mice have really, really long whiskers. And I want to make a bunch of them. So I'm gonna fold my paper in half again. And make sure you're cutting on the side that's not closed. And I'm going to cut a long line like this, like long rectangles. And I'm going to make a few more. And I want to have three on each side, so I'm going to make six of them. Just like this. And now, I'm going to glue them on. I really love all animals. I have two dogs, and they're pretty small, but I don't think they're really tiny animals. I really like hamsters. They're pretty small. I used to have a, cat, a pet guinea pig, and she used to eat lettuce, not like mice. Mice like to eat cheese. Okay, so now I'm gluing on the last one. And now it needs some eyes. So I'm going to keep my paper folded so that I can make two at the same time. And I'm going to cut a little circle. Just like this. Now I'm going to glue them on right here. just like this. And now I have my finished mouse craft. You can also make a really long tail for your mouse too because they have super duper long tails just like the lemurs you saw in the video. The next craft you're going to make is a hummingbird craft. And I have a bunch of different colored pieces of paper. And these are the colors I'm using to make my hummingbird. But you can use whatever colors you want because hummingbirds come in all different colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the body. So my hummingbird's body is going to be yellow. And so I'm going to show you what I'm going to, the shape I'm going to cut out. I'm going to start at the top of my paper and make a line down like this and then another line down like that and then connect it at the bottom just like this and now I'm going to cut this out So now I have the hummingbird's body. Next, I'm going to make the wing. So the wing shape is, going, is kind of similar, but instead of connecting them at the bottom, it's going to come to a point. 
like that. Now I'm going to cut this out. And the hummingbird can, they flap their wings so fast, it almost looks like they're floating when they flap their wings. Okay, so now I have the hummingbird's wing and I'm going to glue it on to the body. So it's going to go right here on the side, like that. And the next part I'm going to make are the feathers on the bottom of the hummingbird's body. So I'm using this pink color and I'm going to make a shape like this, kind of like a tail shape, kind of, like that. And then I'm going to make some fringe so it looks like feathers, kind of. So I'm going to just cut along the bottom in small little strips, but don't cut all the way through your paper. So now I'm going to glue it on to the bottom of its body. Just like this. And the next thing we're going to make is the hummingbird's head. So I'm going to make that blue and I'm just going to cut out a circle. And onto the head is going to be the hummingbird's beak. And their beak is really, really long because they have to get all of their nectar from flowers. So it's super long and pointy and it's really cool. So I'm going to glue this on the top, just like that. And so now I'm going to make the beak. So I'm going to cut a long strip of my paper and you can kind of make it so that it's pointing towards one side, almost like it's reaching for the, a flower. You can even make a flower if you want, like it's eating from it. So I'm gluing this on to the side of the head, like this. And the last thing I'm going to add is the eye. So I'm taking a piece of black paper and I'm cutting out a little circle. And that's going to be the eye for the hummingbird. just like this. And so this is my finished hummingbird, but you can use any colors you want. You can decorate it. Maybe you can make different designs on the wing of the hummingbird or the feathers. You can add whatever you want. You can even make a flower to make it look like the hummingbird is eating from it. I hope you had fun making this hummingbird and mouse craft with me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun crafting with you. We are coming in for a landing to our final destination, an exciting trivia game. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. There will be four answers, but only one will be correct. Can you guess the right one? Well, come on, let's play. Welcome to Wheels Up Trivia, Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. Question number one, where can you find the bee hummingbird? A, Jamaica. B, Croatia. C, Cuba. Or D, Switzerland. Hmm, where is that little bee hummingbird? In Cuba. Great job! Question number two. What does it mean for a species to be endemic? A, 
they exist everywhere. B, they exist only in one geographic region. C, they have spiky thorns. Or D, they have green stripes. That was a tough one, but endemic means they exist in only one geographic region. Question number three. What insect does the bee hummingbird get mistaken for? A, a hummingbird beetle. B, a hummingbird cricket. C, a hummingbird moth. Or D, a hummingbird spider. Oh, this is tricky. If you guessed a hummingbird moth, you were correct. Question number four. Which of the following is the world's smallest primate? A, a cotton top tamarind. B, a squirrel monkey. C, Madame Bertha's mouse lemur. Or D, a Gavin telepoin. They are all super cute, but the smallest one is Madame Bertha's mouse lemur. Question number five. What does nocturnal mean? A, animals that never sleep. B, animals that are active at night. C, animals that sleep only at night. Or D, animals that have big eyes. That was a tough one. Animals that are active at night are nocturnal. Question number six. What is the Carindy Forest famous for? A, fossa and lemurs. B, horses and lemurs. C, tarsiers and kangaroos. Or D, tarsiers and fossa. If you guessed A, you were correct. Great job. Question number seven. Tarsiers live in which of the following countries? A, the Philippines. B, Malaysia. C, Brunei. Or D, all of the above. Hmm. All of them? Wow! Wouldn't you love to see a Tarsier? Question number eight. Which of the following has the largest eyes relative to body size of any mammal? A, the Philippine tarsier. B, a pudu. C, Madame Bertha's mouse lemur. Or D, a bee hummingbird. The largest eyes. Relative to body size, the Philippine tarsier takes the cake. Question number nine. Which of the following best describes the Philippine tarsier? A, shy creatures with big eyes and pointed ears. B, pink colored animals with small eyes and big ears. C, hairless creatures with big blue eyes. Or D, a miniature horse with a long tail and short ears. All of those sound cute, but a Philippine tarsier is shy with big eyes and pointed ears. How cute! Our final question, number 10. The smallest species of deer is the A, elk, B, mule deer, C, cheetah, or D, the poodoo. It's the poodoo, and they are so adorable. Thank you so much for playing trivia with me today with Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. We'll see you next time. Yay! You did such a great job with games trivia. Thank you so much for tuning in on today's episode of Wheels Up. I had such a blast going on that adventure, crafting, and playing that fun game of trivia with you. You can tune into more Wheels Up episodes on our Sunrise Studios app, downloadable on your mobile phones, iOS and Android, also your Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. We can't wait to see you on our next flight with Wheels Up. 
brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines.